that will also become like a litmus a litmus test for me if I think you're retarded or not based on your reaction to the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight. Like this fucking 58 year year old man who could barely run on a treadmill a couple months ago, who almost fucking died and was in the hospital, who could barely walk on his way up to the ring. Oh, you know, oh, clearly, clearly, he would have knocked Jake Paul out the entire thing. Fuck you. So All you people. I feel. Do you feel that that was a rigged fight? I. I feel like it was uh, agreed upon by both of them that, hey, nobody's going to knock each other out. Mm -hmm. But if there's anything that was the most staged or rigged, it's that Jake Paul didn't knock his ass out. Yes, Mike Tyson couldn't fucking move. If you want to talk about, oh, it, it was fixed, it's Jake Paul went easy on him. He did. And if, he did. And if you and if you are tricked by watching little clipping, little clipped edits of Mike Tyson training and you don't understand how different that is, Mike Tyson stumbled walking into the fucking ring. He, it's he not 30 Kevin years Mc, ago. He, he lost to Kevin McBride. 60. He lost to Kevin McBride like 10 years ago. Yes. But and, like, and that doesn't what? mean that I think Jake Paul's a world-class fucking boxer. He's also not like a nobody, right? He takes the training seriously. But What I always oh, said about God. this was that it, it, the, I never thought that the fight was real. I always thought that it was it was rigged to benefit Jake Paul in the long run, and and arguably, I don't know. There might even be a where Mike Tyson gets a small percentage of future Jake Paul cuts because this is going to continue to elevate Jake Paul, just like the Floyd Mayweather bullshit. Like, there's no excuse that there's no reason Floyd Mayweather wouldn't knock out Logan Paul. But anyway, but if you're talking for real, if this was a real fight, which I don't think it was, Mike Tyson had maybe one round to do something that's it after it goes beyond anything like that he was gassed. gassed never had a chance and anybody that was thinking that mike tyson had a chance after that thing went beyond a round or two no chance but he, it's even still it, he, it was not a real fight it was not yeah. a real fight but it's it's one of the greatest scams in history because jake paul was able because people want to see Jake Paul get knocked out, right? He understands that. He understands that people want to see him get knocked out. And he was able to successfully gaslight people enough to um, make them think that they could tune in and possibly get a glimpse of the old Mike Tyson just for a moment. Brilliant and marketing. See Jake Paul flat on his fucking back. Brilliant marketing. But, That's what it is. Like, he, the Paul I brothers are. I, I hate people. We'll go back to. I hate the, people. The Paul brothers are genius marketers. They're genius. They just are. I think Logan Paul. I I I said this yesterday on Cobra Cast. I have more respect for Beyonce than Logan Paul. <laughs> like that's how I can't stand Logan Paul. I I think he's the worst of the worst. But my gosh, that dude is talented as hell. When he's like in professional wrestling and and all the things he does, his talent is stupid. Jake Paul is more likable than Logan, but they're both unlikable. But their marketing is genius. And you're right about that. Jake Paul knows that everybody hates him and everybody wanted to see him get knocked out. Yeah. And he made people believe that there was a chance that could happen. Yes. Um, I didn't tune in during the fight because I knew what this was going to fucking be. Um, it should have been crystal clear to everyone. And Jake Paul didn't want to be the guy that knocked out Mike Tyson, right? standing standing over a man who could barely walk in the center of the ring with his hands raised. He didn't want to be that guy. Uh, so if you want to talk about where the fix was, it was by Jake Paul not actually going after him when it was clear Mike had nothing left. Yep, nothing. Prime Mike Tyson is one of the greatest like athletes you'll ever see in that short five-year period or whatever it was. But Mike wasn't like, once a once a fight went beyond like of the first few rounds, Mike wasn't like the you know what I mean, wasn't the same fighter. And that was when he was in his prime. He very rarely rarely went beyond a few rounds. I think Buster Douglas was the tenth round knockout, if I'm not mistaken. Um, when Buster Douglas knocked him out. But did, but did these people watch the Roy Jones fight that they did like four fucking years ago, four or five years ago? Like, look at that. Add four years and like a couple medical emergencies later, and this is what you get. Like, I, I shit you not. I have this for all the people that are clipping together these. Oh my gosh, look at these two minute snippets of him in training 
while sparring with a guy who he knows exactly what he's doing and they're going through through combos. This don't look like the same person. This is one of the things you have to worry about when you're fucking 58 years old. There's a couple months before this fight, by the way. <laughs> Ah! He's an old man. He's an old man. <laughs> so, thank you. Like, thank you for sharing your your fucking sparring clips. Why wasn't this the guy we saw? This is who he is. Okay, and it, it's like all the people that are tweeting that shit out right now I, I think you're one of the dumbest people in the fucking world I in general hate it when people that never watch sports or talk about sports suddenly decide to tune in and give their fucking crazy thoughts about it I hate that in general but holy fuck man but the old. thing is it's okay the, people get old that's why I don't want to get old that's why I want to die <laughs> before I turn 50 listen you did get that Mike Tyson the first round, you saw that Mike Tyson. He was throwing punches. He was moving. He was shaking. He was – that's all he had. He had a round. You can argue maybe he had a half a round in the next round. You saw it, and after that, it was over. There was nothing left for him to even pretend that he could be in the ring at that point in time. He showed you what he had in those sparring se uh, sessions that are being clipped together. You and saw him. Pre prescriptive movements. Everyone knows what happens. Yes. Yep. So there you go. Like, that, that's just it. So I'm sorry. So many people are still in denial about results that they don't like. Um, but there you have it.